<laughs> Welcome back to 101. I'm joined by Joey Acredino and Mike Heil to get some reaction on what was a crazy Thanksgiving weekend in college football. Guys, we saw two big games. Well, we saw a lot of games, but two, two that really stand out. Mm -hmm. You saw the Boise State losing to Nevada late at night. I was, I was taking a nap, but I heard it happened. And then you saw it Auburn. Did. You saw Auburn coming back from 24 to 7 uh, against Alabama. Which one was a more surprising comeback to you, Joey? I'll, I'll start with you. It has to be Auburn, Alabama, Eric. <clears throat> More First surprising? Of all, yes, absolutely. Boise Alabama, State lost. Alabama was favored coming into the game by four okay. and a half points. People do not remember that. Okay. It was at home, and boy, they were up 24 to 0. The defense was yeah. rolling. The offense was rolling. Julio Jones was rolling. But then Auburn, led by Cam Newton, led him back. Nobody saw that coming. The game was over. So surprising. Wow, jo try and follow Joey, that. You can't, you can't say that. Everyone that thought that Auburn was going to lose that game was in a dream. Maybe a dream within a dream. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Auburn is a team that has shown they can come back. They've Inception. proved it all season. I got to pick Nevada over Boise State. Boise State was rolling all season. People said their season was done, that they were going to dominate. How was that dominate. surprising? It was the biggest sports event in Reno in 100 years. Because they came back just as much that, that Auburn had to do over Alabama. Well, guys, I, I would have, to, I have to say Nevada, it was probably a little more surprising. Boise State is supposed to go undefeated as soon as they got by Virginia Tech. You're wrong. Nevada Thank did. You. But, but you. which comeback? Of these two comebacks, Nevada obviously came back from, they were down a lot also. Yeah. Which one is more impactful as far as the, the later BCS uh, look? I got to stick with the same game. I think Boise State going down like that, it killed their season. They were looking mm. for number three spot, well, gunning for it. They are gone. They're out of it for this season. Maybe even next season, people are going to be a little bit more reluctant to put them high up in the polls. Auburn and Alabama, they didn't really move much. If, they, if the, the things had been switched, it would have been different, but coming back for Auburn changed nothing. You're talking about impactful, important. Yeah. Everything was on the line in the Iron Bowl. Heisman Trophy, national championship, bragging rights for the state of Alabama. You know what? True. That was the most impactful game of the season, bar none. And Mike, they played a little music for Cam Newton before the game. Here's what Auburn does. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. You know the next line of that song, Money on My Mind? Cam Newton, come on, <laughs> seriously. Like, thank you for playing into that, because uh, that looks great. That's a good reference. About. Now, we'll see Auburn definitely in the, in the BCS. Boise State might have squandered their chances. Yes. But, but what team, and it may be Boise State, what team is going to be the best that's left out of the BCS? I got to go with LSU. LSU playing in the SEC. It's a tough conference to come out of with just two losses. And you know those two losses? At Arkansas, who's going to be in a BCS yes. game. At mm. Auburn, who's playing mm. for the national championship. Those two losses, that's really tough. And they really should deserve a spot over some of the teams that are a little bit weaker that are beginning, maybe like a Big East team. <laughs> it's going to be in a BCS game. Joey, Mike, I love you like a brother, but you're 0 for 3. Nobody that is left out of the BCS deserves to be in there, including LSU. Two losses, you have to get it done on the field. All right. it's, it's fine. It's well, fine let's, it let's talk about one more team that is, that's going to be in the BCS and is making a big move to the Big East. TCU, over, over the weekend, said they're going to be moving to, to the Big East. Texas in the Big East, I don't know if that fits, but, but Joey, what's your reaction to TCU joining this conference? Here's the answer. It doesn't fit. <laughs> they're in Texas. They're going to the Big East. This is preposterous, but you know what it tells you? Football is king. This makes a little bit of sense for football. I'll give you mm -hmm. that. But you're talking about basketball games, two and three basketball games a week in Syracuse, New yeah. York from That's Fort tough. Worth. That That's makes tough. no sense. This is preposterous. Yep. If you just you pointed out it's all about football. But you know what? That's why I love this move. Being this a college huh. football block, we're talking, talking college football <laughs> here. I think this is Probably great because biased. they've always wanted to get this shot. TCU's getting the shot they've been trying to gun for. They're going to play in an automatic qualifying conference that no they sense. have the chance to dominate. They can play in a BCS game every year now and deserve it, and no one's going to be doubting them from here out. I love it. Well, why? It's, it's going to be interesting. TCU, people making a big deal about the travel time. They're making similar travel times out to California for the Mountain West. So, big week to look at here. We have championship games, but once again, we have to take a break. But after this break, Christian and the guys will take a look at some of the big games next week in the NFL, including the Monday night Jets-Patriots matchup. Don't go anywhere.